Hi, in this video I'll try to explain the overall flow of our uh, Odoo and Shopify connector. Uh, first of all, uh, once we have, once you have downloaded our app, uh, you need to install that app. Uh, I'll click on, uh, I'll search for Shopify and click on install. So there was no error. Uh, we'll just click on OK. All of the modules, uh, you know, they were successfully installed. So now I'll go to Shopify. And first, I need to configure. So I'll click on Settings page. I need to first of all enter the Shopify instance. So I'll create one. Instance is basically your uh, name of the sh instance that you want to keep. It can be anything. Uh, the shop name is directly coming from the Shopify uh, that you have, uh, you know, created. And you need to co you need to copy the API key, API password, and the secret key, so that you can, you know, easily communicate. So that we are able to communicate with uh, Shopify using the APIs. Uh, we can also click on test connection to confirm whether the credentials were working or not. Click on save so that you don't have to enter the credentials again and again. Now if you go back to configuration, you need to add the location of the store, of your store. So you, right now I don't have any store created so I'll just create a custom location. A location can have multiple instances, I mean multiple apps, so you have to first create the Shopify app on the Shopify. Uh, once you select the location, you will be able to, you know, select uh, uh, the instance and the location will be automatically auto-populated uh, in the drop-down. Now, for example, if you try to import customers and other data, uh, we just need to click on uh, import, sorry. You just need to select the import option and select the date range. Like for example, uh, you need to a custom uh, perform a custom action, like fetch the customers only from the specific date. So once you click on start execution, the importing of customers has has started. This green uh, text indicates that the customers are getting imported from Shopify. Uh, if you refresh the screen. you will see that the customers uh, will keep on getting populated. Now I'll try to refresh my screen and to, to, to see whether the execution has completed or not. Yes, the execution has completed. You can see the history and around 418 customers were imported. Now uh, what we'll try to do is import sales order from Shopify to Odoo. Uh, we'll select the same date range and click on start execution so now you can see the import of sales order has started in Shopify are partially full uh, from the Shopify you can also see the count of orders over here it's eight and in case you want to you know double check uh, you can click on the sales order and check the delivery or the invoices related to uh, you know that specific sales order now if you click on validate uh, you first need to you know uh, force the transfer uh, so what we'll do is we'll go back uh, check the availability of this product Currently, if we check over here, the status has been marked as paid for the sales order.
uh, we'll repeat the process uh, and you can see the collections in the invoices click on actually where uh, they exist uh, just a moment Yes, product categories over here. You will be able to see all the categories over here. You will see all of the all of the you know uh, collections that existed in uh, Shopify. Uh, the Shopify import has started. Import of products has been started. So. Let's go to products, inventory, master data, and click on products, imported from Shopify. So you can see all the products over here, and you will also be able to see their custom location if you want to. Uh, we are importing all of the data related to can I can go and check my logs. Uh, if you refresh the page, you see that the number has increased. So the import is still running right now. Uh, you will also be able to see the product variants. So we are importing all of the information related to our scheduler functionality so that you don't have to always click on the start execution button. Uh, we'll click, we'll, <coughs> we just need to enter the interval number and the minutes ha after how, how many uh, you know, minutes this, this process will run automatically. So I'll uh, try to uncheck uh, the other options and try to run uh, this, click on start execution to adjust the run to start the auto scheduler part so that you won't have to repeat the process and you know once the import has been completed uh, every now and then if the uh, if you want to you know uh, import export the changes it will automatically uh, you know um, check uh, the data and sync the data uh, according to your settings so you won't have to you know, manually go and click on start execution. You just need to click on start execution once to start the auto scheduler. So whatever setting you, uh, 